What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're over here at the shop at B&K Performance and he's over here working on a customer's car, cutting out some lower and upper torque boxes and going to put some adjustability in these cars. Very important when you start drag racing these things. A lot of people just put the battle boxes and they reinforce and weld the torque boxes up, but a lot of times that's not enough. A lot of times you need some adjustability especially when you start radial racing and you need to change the instant center. You need it to be longer or shorter or higher or lower. You cannot do that without adjustability. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that Brian is putting on this customer's car and it's stuff that you can get and you can put on. It's not super difficult if you've got the right tools. Well, check it out guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to head over to turbojohnracing.com to get yourself one of these cool flip coins. He's got some fancy lower control arm brackets. These are TRZs. I make a whole bunch of different ones, but these are the TRZs. So one of the things when you're when you're messing with cars, this goes on the bottom of the rear end. We talk about instant center. And you know, my car over here now, it's got the four link stuff. So basically it's got a bunch of holes in the bottom bracket, just like this. And these are half inch bolts. You know, mine are five eighths and uh, true four link. And sometimes they're you know three quarters it depends on what they are but the smaller the bolt is the the more adjustment you have essentially the finer the adjustment is not the more but you know if it's one inch apart then it's going to be more uh change so that's one of the good things about these but what we're going to do on this thing these are going on one of his customers cars and uh you know nice bracket super nice three sixteenths of an inch and then it's got this eighth of an inch doubler on it and the doubler gets on there and it's nice and uh pretty teak welded now when it's not pretty teak welded mm, i don't know if it's going to look real good or not but it's just one of those things but basically what these will do is we're going to we're going to weld the doubler bracket on it here and then what, once we get it welded on then this thing is going to weld to the bottom of the rear end and uh the stock brackets will come off and then he's going to have all this adjustment basically the mustang world now the g-body world i think the camaros you can do it as well the mustang i mean it's a triangulated four link suspension so that all triangulated means is you know the bars are at, a, at an angle and so uh they're wider on the rear end and then they, they come in a little bit on the on the body and then the upper bars are the opposite they go uh they're narrow on the rear end and then they spread apart and hit the body you put all these adjustment points in there man it is you got a lot of adjustment but let's weld this stuff together here uh, i'll show you what else is going on in a couple other cars hold on this is some of the Marty Merlat stuff. These are the uh, upper control arm stuff and the, the lower box is like racing. This is the stuff that Zach also is putting on his car. So make sure y'all go follow his channel if you're not full spool racing and you can see him doing it in the yard. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little challenging, but this stuff right here, man, this is, this is just like, I mean, this is just, it's like art, you know, it just sucks. You have to, paint it and it rusts and gets, gets all messed up but these are the same thing these are the doublers my welds are not going to look that good but that stuff is super nice here goes the uppers and there you go again there's the doublers on that thing so this is some of the stuff that's happening over here at brian's shop at bnk performance he's uh, i think this is the third or fourth car now that he has put uh uppers and lowers on so he's going at it these these things are awesome uh four four link in a box now here is here is that Marty Merlat stuff in. This was one that he's working on now. He ain't got it quite done yet. But you have to basically cut out all the upper stuff and then you know this just goes right in place and then it just it just welds in. And then you know what, what a lot of people do is what I did on mine too. You can go in through the floor on the cage and attach to the top here to give it some some support. But this stuff is super nice stuff, man. I mean it is super nice. It is one of those things though. It is super hard work to get this stuff out. And then you, you know, you put it in and it's just, you got the adjustability. I mean, the only thing that's not adjustable on this one now is the upper mount on the actual housing here. This one is the only thing that's not adjustable, but I mean, with all the other points, you got three of the other four points adjustable. It's just one of those things It's okay. You, I mean, you can get, you can make it happen. You can make it do whatever you want it to do.
All right, so those are welded up. Not bad, I am not a professional Teague welder, but I mean, they turn out reasonably well. Now, something that is interesting, something I wanted to point out, show y'all, something that I'm still learning. So this one over here was welded on 110 amps. This one was welded on 135 amps. Now look at the difference. That one is substantially hotter than this one because you had to go slower on this you know, one. I don't know that I'll ever be a professional Teague welder, but it was it's crazy because this one right here was clearly getting too hot and I actually had to stop on this one and, and you know, do that one last. But this one over here was more amperage and, and it actually welds cooler. And I, I mean, I guess it makes sense when you think about it because, you know, you can move faster. It melts the, the rod right there at it. I have no idea. I have no clue how these cats get this the entire way. I mean, I got that one, I got like two inches of perfect weld. It's real pretty. And then the rest of it's kind of like blah. I mean, I guess it's just practice. This is first time, that's the first time I've ever welded a set of doublers on. So overall, I'm not, I'm not unhappy with it. I mean, they're going to get painted anyway. I mean, that's one of the things you always paint over it. So once you get all this stuff adjustable, it's very important. Go find yourself an instant center calculator and that'll give you a real good idea of where everything's at. There's some real good programs out there. Start plotting out the instant center location, what your anti-squad is, and with this adjustability, you can make it whatever you want it to be. By doing these upgrades, you're setting yourself up to have a much better, more consistent program, and that's all what we're after. Going fast and getting wind lights. All right, guys. Well, y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Brian's over here working on these cars, putting tons of this stuff in. All right, later, guys.